they think it's Easter Sunday or something like that. Anyways, it's two in the afternoon and I just got up a little bit ago. I do have keys to the new place. I've started moving some stuff, but as you can tell, um, everything's still here. I, I kind of wish I could just snap my fingers and make all this stuff be in storage. Anyways, I'm gonna be a little bit distracted by moving for the next, oh, I don't know, month, because that's how much longer I have this place. What I think I'm gonna do is probably just do some shorter videos, uh, just to kind of keep the rhythm going. And uh, so you guys have something to watch, even if it's only a few minutes long. <laughs> moving is so annoying. <laughs> the new place is gonna be great though. It's It does not have interior hallways. The problem here is all the people are forced like 800 people are forced to funnel through a couple of different doors and there's a much higher probability of running into certain people that may or may not have swatted you in the past or may or may not have run to the office constantly and then made up lies about me running over their toes and stuff which is peculiar because the people that I supposedly ran over their toes don't have any broken toes um so <laughs> It'll be nice moving away from this. Okay, I'm rambling. I just got this coffee. You can see I have not drank very much of it. I attempted to make my own earlier and I was out, out of creamer. Um, anyways, here's some footage from the last few days uh, or something. <laughs> Okay, you may have noticed the uh, the rubber Rubbermaid cart is now built, and I figured I needed some speakers on it with some sharp zip ties. Apparently, let's uh, see how this works. Oh yeah, I think that'll do quite nicely. Hey, kitty, what are you doing? I'm not quite sure what's wrong with me, but for some reason, even though I'm moving, I got another computer and some more monitors. Um, this is one of those old Mac Xeon servers. It's like a Mac Pro from back in the day. <laughs> more stuff. It's been a little while since I've made some coffee on camera. This is the March 25th 2018 vintage McDonald's uh, medium roast. And here we have the Da Vinci Pure Cane Sugar. I'm feeling zesty, we're gonna do quite a bit of concentrate. And in my opinion, the best heavy whipping cream on earth made by Mountain Dairy. Some ice. It's optional to splash some of the coffee on your sleeve. And then a lid. And a uh, Kroger Home Sense Bendy Flexible Straw. Normally they just come right out of there when I do that. There we go. Now I'm sure some people will notice I'm using disposable coffee cups now. It's efficiency on my part because when I use a regular coffee cup, like a commuter mug like this one, I have to carry the thing around. Then I always, then I always wind up leaving it somewhere or inevitably it gets underneath my chair and I run over it and break it. So this, when I'm done, it can be um, recycled I think. Okay, well this actually can't be recycled. Um, it's one of the codes that is still not yet able to be processed, which is weird and, which is strange in 2018. I've pulled one of the caster wheels off of that Rubbermaid cart. And you notice these are kind of loud. When you're running down a sidewalk with that cart, it makes a whole lot of noise. I'm gonna go to Harbor Freight and see if I can find some air-filled caster wheels to um, mitigate the rattliness. 
because when I start moving all these computers and stuff, I feel like the hard drives may not appreciate the bumpy strangeness. I'm still kind of tired. <laughs> um, at least I'm not in the storage unit anymore. Look at this thing. It's like wobbling just sitting there. I'm not quite sure where my phone is. Hey Siri. Ah, here we go. Over here behind the... One sec. Behind the pile of monitors. You Ah, uh, the old Harbor Freight. Got some uh, wheels in a box back here, $57 later. Seems to be a recurring theme where I'm on the floor working on things. Um, I got some wheels. We've got the, um, the little OEM wheels, which are not, well, let's compare them to these. <laughs> and, they're air filled, so it should improve the should improve the ride quality dramatically. I'm fairly sure I can connect these up. If you see the bolt holes sort of line up, they're not as wide, but the bottom of this cart seemed to have the holes on the bottom of this cart. I think will accept the larger size wheels. So let's go ahead and. Uh, make the neighbors wonder what's going on up here again and flip this thing over. Okay, moment of truth. Aw oh, yeah, they totally fit. If you see here, there's um, a few sets of holes and the, the old wheels used eh, these two, but the new ones, hang on. The new ones use all of them. And uh, I'm gonna need some washers because the uh, screws, wherever they went, they're there. The screws, while they work in this thing, are somewhat more questionable in this. <laughs> um, and by somewhat, I mean completely. Luckily, I have some washers from a previous project. Brand new in their packaging. Um, yeah, let's make it work. They're not 100% ideal, but close enough for who they're for. Now the question is, oh, dang it. The holes go the wrong way. The wheels need to go like this. Uh, shoot. Um, well, that's gonna make things interesting. I wonder, ah, I know what I can do. I'll just, um, I'll drill an access hole right here, I think. <sighs> This just got, uh, this just turned into a little bit more work, but we'll still make it happen. Let's start with this side, because I'm pretty sure they'll fit over here. Oh yeah, that's nice. I did manage to strip out one of the holes though. You can see how there's plastic in the threads halfway up. Uh, luckily, it's one of the holes I'm not going to be using. I just had an amazing thought. If I flip this thing over, this part will be on top. And I can do this from my chair, um, which would probably be a lot easier. Or something. May I take the moment to point out um, stock versus aftermarket. <laughs> I'm hoping now that these are so big that this thing's not going to become unstable. I think it should be all right. Um, I'll just have to be careful, but so much nicer. 
after a little bit of screwing around with a drill, um, I realized that the metal on these things doesn't drill very easily. What I'm going to do instead is just go ahead and drill a hole all the way through the deck here and then just run a long bolt. Honestly, like, I probably don't even need those other bolts because with those two on here, I mean, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. But just because this cart is so heavy duty, I think I'm going to run longer bolts all the way through and we'll call it good. This reminds me a little bit of something I did yesterday. <laughs> Whoa, that's a weird bolt. Look at that. It, it like steps down to the threads here. I don't even know where you'd buy one of these. Oh, so close. Uh, maybe if I, maybe if I don't use a washer, that'll be okay. Yeah, I don't know, that's, that's a close one. Oh, I think we might be okay. We're not getting many threads on there, but I think we're getting enough. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna throw some Loctite on those and we'll just call it a day. Once again, good enough for who it's for. <laughs> Where did that weird bolt go? There it is. Man, these parts like we're not we're not using this on the highway um, I guess we should be okay very reminiscent of uh, Harbor Freight though yeah look at these things they just like kind of flop around on there Ugh. it's never bad that'll do pig that'll do I have these little hardware kits that I use for projects like this. They put an odd number of bolts in them, which makes you have to buy more kits because typically when you're doing things like this, it's in pairs of bolts. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave one out instead of buying another kit. I think we should be okay with just one here and nothing over there. I guess uh, three out of four ain't bad, right? Harbor Freight strikes again. I suppose though we're not using this on the highway, so some wheel wheel wobble shouldn't be too big of a deal. <laughs> you know those guys that take golf carts and put enormous tires and lifts on them and go running around? I may have created the Rubbermaid service cart version of that. Uh, this thing's pretty sweet. It's a lot taller and uh, these wheels seem to work good. Plus, uh, with the air-filled wheels, it's gonna be a lot better, I think. I do believe it's time to head over to the new place and uh, we'll test this thing out. Well, I'm not going over there specifically to test this, but I need to use it to move some stuff. You can see our, um, our lonely bolt here. This hole didn't wind up working, but the bolts on that side, uh, Seem to be working pretty well. 